Hi hey guys, Northeast Prospector here again. Uh, just a, another clip on the Gold Miner automatic panning machine. Um, as you can probably guess, I didn't get a chance to head out today. Uh, lovely day for it, but I completely forgot it was Valentine's Day. So, I uh, thought I'd better stay at home. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm running some cons that I have found in the tub in the shed. Um, there's a lot of black sand in this stuff. Um, not, not too sure on the gold content of it, but there's a lot of black sands in what I'm running, and we all know what that means. You find gold where the black sand is. Um, here's, here's the tub. And you see quite a lot of blonde sand, blonde sands in there, but you can see the layers of black sand through here, all through there, and. Actually gives you a better idea of how, how stuff can form in a creek too, the old creek beds and that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'll keep running some of this and I'll get back to you. And I've got a mountain goat reverse helix tunnel here as well, which I'm going to set up and give you guys a demonstration on what it's capable of too. Okay, we've just finished knocking over the rest of those ponds and the black sand in that tub. Um, I cleaned it out about halfway through just to see if there was any, actually anything in it and there was a little bit of gold in it so it was a promising sign. Um, yeah, we've just turned that off and we'll uh, have a quick look. So there you can see the black sands that we picked up. Um, we're in a super sluice here again. Um, yeah, I don't know how well those little specks show up, but you can see definitely how clean it gets them. You can see a little bit of gold there floating um, in a little bit. But yeah, there's probably 20 specks maybe, which is surprising because I wasn't expecting to see, uh, see anything in those cons. But yeah, that's the... Automatic panner by gold miner, so definitely cleans them up nicely. I'll um, just get this mountain fox trommel set up, oh, mountain goat trommel set up, sorry, and we'll show you guys how that runs. And here it is, the mountain goat reverse helix trommel, um, made by the same folks who make the desert fox camel mining. Um, we've got this set up. For a circulation system, um, just to save water, obviously. Uh, once again, due to the fine gold, it's supposed to be recovering. Uh, a bit of get dry or rinse aid, whichever, just to break the surface tension of the water and you know, stop the fine gold from floating. Um, so yeah, we'll give you a quick rundown of how the how the unit works. So make sure it's right at the moment. We've got the water running through it, so. Open the hopper. You get a small spray bar assembly. Um, and you just uh, clean the rocks off, which put back by the material. Um, once you turn around, you'll get a better look. But, um, thumbs down through the unit, and comes out the end. And you look straight up the unit. You can probably see a little bit of black sand and one sand sitting there in the unit. So once I turn that on, they'll obviously start to get pulled back up. So um, we quickly fire this up and we'll start running some material. Um, oh, there's the catch tray there. Um, I've got the spout to feed it straight into the desert fox as well. But for this clip, I thought I'd just run it straight into the catch tray. Um, give you guys an idea. Um, I haven't got it dialed in as well as I'd like just yet, but yeah, it's a little bit more fiddly in the desert box. But I'll, the more I play with it, I'm sure I'll get a better idea of it. So we'll just we'll just switch it on. It's a bit noisy, so I apologise for that. There we go. It's all running. 
We showed you all the black sands and blonde sands over there. And now we're getting pulled up the middle. And I'll start to start the bus and drop out, drop out there. So I've got a bucket of material here. Um, I don't think there's any gold in this because I've just pinched this from the local creek about five minutes drive from home. So we'll run some of this through and we'll see how we go. Ideally, I probably should have classified this down a little bit to be better, but I've been told it can handle up to half an inch, so here we go. Do so pretty quick. A few bigger rocks in here. Maybe you can wash it off, but you get under them and just run a few handfuls and we'll see how we go. actually comes off, it's meant to be a nugget trap. Um, obviously not all that lucky to be working nugget rich material, but it's there just in case. Um, the most few handfuls of material that come through is a little bit in the bottom of the bucket, that's not too bad. And here we are here. So these are the bigger parts that come through, but as you can see, it's well clean, so it's not too bad at all. There's a little bit of black sand in the bottom of it, so it's fast, but as you can see, it's nice and clean, so the spray bar is definitely doing its job. So I'll keep running some of this material and I'll get back to you. So as you can see, Definitely shoot through that bucket nice and quickly. Um, I really should have classified it down a bit, a bit better, but it's only I'll only be running maybe two or three minutes. And see that whole bucket just about gone now. Just another minute or so to clean out what's in the, in the barrel. I still feel a few, a few little bits here and there, you guys know, a little bit there. So for a recirculation system, it's got 750 gallons per hour, per hour uh, pump, fuel pump, run off a uh, 12 volt battery, and then another 12 volt battery to run the barrel itself. It's nice and compact, I reckon. Turn this off quickly and I'll put some of the tube into a pan and we'll see what we've got. So from that full bucket we just put through the mountain goat trommel, uh, we've ended up with this. Um, took all the cons from it, classified them down and did a few, few pans from a couple of scoops and actually <laughs> surprisingly enough I found a bit of gold in it. Um, which which is very surprising considering 
I wasn't expecting to find any gold from where this came from and not only that um, I've run previous pans there before and never found anything so this is a little little surprising but what I'll do is um, I'll run this through the wheel tomorrow and I'll report back with the results and see what we can pull from it so I took a break for a couple of hours yeah, have some lunch and whatever else and um, decided to run the cons that we picked up out of the trommel earlier on um, as you can see I've run uh, 10 teaspoons or something not much at all yet and I haven't seen any black sands coming up yet but from what I panned out um, a little bit, there was a few black sands and even more surprising is a few specks of gold. So there's a few rocks in here that have gotten through the plus five rocks up. Right. So yeah, we'll keep running some of this and keep you guys posted. So there we have it guys. We've just finished running all the tongs. And the final little bit is just going through the wheel now. And uh I'll let this run for a few more minutes and then I'll come back to you with what we have in the pan after I pull it out of that. So we'll see if the dozen or so specks that are in this have been caught or they've been blown out into the cut shot. So there we have it. Just tipped that out and thrown a little bit more water in there just to get all the last little bits out. And from what I can see, I think I think it might have actually picked up the very, very fine. Yeah. Get this all up into the corner and we'll have it. The water's a bit dirty, sorry, but there you go. Yeah, it's a bit there. Hang on, just get this. I don't know how well that's showing up, but from that half a bucket of material, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's probably about. 40, 40, 50 colours. And that's that's tiny, tiny stuff. So these gold wheels, they will catch anything. So I'll snuff that up, throw it in with the rest of it, and I'll uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to stay tuned. Cheers.